Welcome to Sparky TV. This is Patrick from Mr. Sparky. I'm here to help you with your wiring project. It doesn't matter what you're planning, whether it be to completely rewire your home, add circuits, or just add a few outlets. It's important to be safe. To help you in this mission, here are seven safety tips you need to know before starting any electrical or wiring project. Number one, know your electrical system's limitations. Do a quick load calculation to determine if that circuit can handle the additional pull of any new fixtures you may be adding. If you overload the circuit, it will cause your breakers to trip and may cause the electrical connections at your outlets to become very hot. That's a potential fire hazard. Number two, begin with a good plan. Make a full scale drawing of your project and mark any essential points on your walls or ceiling with a pencil. Number three, have the right paperwork. Research, read, follow, and comprehend how to properly do your specific task. Also, most areas require a permit because there is a safety and injury risk with electrical work. And if you ever want to sell your home and the work isn't done up to code, an inspector could require the work to be redone. Number four, get the right tools. All of your tools should have insulated handles and you should be wearing shoes with rubber soles. Also, safety glasses and leather gloves are an absolute must. Have a receptacle plug tester, multimeter, and voltage tester with you too. Number five, clear your work area. You don't need anything to cause an obstruction or a distraction while working on your project. And please, don't have wet clothes on or stand on a wet floor. Number six, turn off the power. Before working on a circuit, a fuse box, or a panel, turn off the power. Even then, make sure the power is off with a voltage tester. And remember, if you're working in or around your fuse box or panel, the wires in the center that feed the panel are still live. I know you're eager to do your project yourself, but if it revolves around your fuse box or electrical panel, I recommend talking to a licensed electrician. Over 1,000 people are killed and thousands more are injured every year when working with their home's electricity. It just takes one accident to lead to a lasting mistake. This leads to my last safety tip. Number seven, know your limitations. Please don't rush through any project. When you rush, it's easy to make those accidents. More importantly, if you don't feel comfortable with what you're doing, don't have the right tools, or would just like a second opinion, feel free to give us a call. You can always count on us for no malarkey service, guaranteeing you that we're on time you'll see, or the repair is free. Those are my seven safety tips you need to know before starting any electrical or wiring project. They will help you as you move forward. This is Patrick from Mr. Sparky and Sparky TV. Until next time, be safe out there.